I guess this will be the vlog for day two. Um, <clears throat> so I'm actually currently working on this astronomy course. Um, just finished up some quizzes for this week and I'm currently working on chapter five. So we're exploring the origin of the solar system. Now I already have all my credits for um, basically the introductory astronomy, even I think up to level three um, of what was offered at my university. But I decided just to start with this again. Now, in case you guys are wondering where I'm doing this through, um, I'm doing it through Outlier. Uh, it says outlier.com and it's through the University of Pittsburgh. So that's where you would gain the college credit from. Um, currently, um, at some of the universities I was looking at attending, um, I don't, doesn't show that I'm able to actually transfer this credit. So if you guys are gonna be doing any type of online institutions, make sure you can transfer the credit over. That might sound kind of obvious, but um, yeah, I, I'm still gonna continue the course anyway. Um, and then maybe I'll just look at it. I'm sure there's different universities I can actually go to to be able to transfer it. Um, but at the end of the day, like, I think it's still just, you know, really valuable whether or not, um, like, I can transfer the credit, but also to whatever university I go to, um, you know, in the ads, as long as it's um, really a, a great, um, yeah, the uh, amount of work that I'm learning and if, I, if they have an astronomy department where I actually can start to do research again in undergraduate, which is something really cool. Um, I spoke with an admissions um, director at this other university about uh, research and he was mentioning that, yeah, it's like really common um, to be able to do research for some reason in astronomy only and compared to all the other STEM majors uh, to be able to actually yeah, do, do research. Most other STEM majors, you can't really have an opportunity yet until you reach about graduate school. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty exciting. Um, and good news for anyone out there is like you can basically right away jump into the field, which is how I ended up doing research. Um, and I think that's why there was so much of a misconception about me having a master's degree because I had done research. And I guess like in many other, like as I mentioned, STEM majors, you usually uh, don't really do research until you're uh, you know in graduate school so anyway um, but that was like really cool I mean I did research starting in my first year up the, the, to the full three years so three years of, of um, like research specifically I did and it was on something that we're actually reviewing right now which are um, early solar systems basically so when a baby star forms and an accretion disk forms around that baby star and an early formation of say a planetary system um, can begin to form planets might be able to actually stick around and um, that was like part of my research was actually measuring this which is like really cool it was specifically measuring um, protoplanetary disks which is what they're called protoplanetary disk so basically like the disk right before planets form around the newborn star and because there's so many other stars nearby oftentimes in the stellar nursery um, the disk can be affected by stellar radiation or winds from nearby stars and that's often a, a problem when it comes to the the lifetime or the potential for uh, it's yeah basically for the the accretion disk to stick around long enough for planets to actually form because it can get completely disturbed and, and ruined and maybe even like blown away um, the, the accretive material before planets have a chance to actually form. And so um, a big part of my research was measuring uh, not only the mass loss rate, which is what it sounds like, the amount of mass that gets lost um, in that disk, but also the distance um, of that protoplanetary disk to say like another nearby star, like a really massive star. And um, it was like really cool. So anyway, I'm gonna get back to this lesson. Just wanted to pop in and say hi. And I'm gonna go ahead and post that first video right now on YouTube and then post this one tomorrow. Okay, bye.